Welcome to the Food Properties Laboratory. In the today's experiment, you are going to learn about the terminal velocity. The aim of today's experiment is to determine the terminal velocity of a given seed sample. The machine which we are using for today's experiment is a seed blower developed by Dakota Industries. Model is IK701. The requisites of the today's experiment are seed blower, hot wire anemometer, generally there are two types of anemometer which can be used for the determination of the wind velocity. One is the hot wire anemometer which is having a hot wire plug which runs on AC supply while the second anemometer which runs on the, the conventional which has a fan and a battery operated unit. So both the instruments can be used. The sample for the experiment is flexit sample. We have already measured 4 gram of flexit sample to determine its terminal velocity. Let us have a look on the machine components. The machine has a capacitor to control the wind velocity. It is attached to the motor. The motor blower is attached with a vertical column comprising of different compartments and a net so that our sample should not blow out of the column. Column has a different slots to settle down the blown sample. The column can be opened from the top so that we can place our sample into the column. It has a main switch, a timer switch to maintain the tri timer and a socket in which we can insert the anemometer connection. The anemometer can be placed in the basket which is given on the left hand side of the machine. So now let us prepare the machine for the experiment. Hmm. Place the anemometer in the basket and put the hot wire socket into the space provided beneath the column so that the temperature and the velocity will be measured by anemometer. The anemometer is having is an American socket. So as the anemometer is an American made, so we need to convert it with an Indian plug so that we can insert it into the given socket. So here we have inserted an extension which will convert the American socket to India and it is inserted. Now switch on the machine, switch on the anemometer. See, we can see the temperature is 31 degrees Celsius and the wind velocity is 0, 0.00. So the machine is off, so it will show you velocity as 0. Now let us put the sample in the column and switch on the machine. A 4 gram of measured flexit sample needs to be poured. By removing the top column of the machine, place back the capacitor should be on the minimal position before switching on the timer. Now switch on the timer to 20 seconds and slowly increase the capacitor.
note down the reading for the velocity at which the sample is completely suspended in the air that is 7.95 meter per second 7.99 is the wind velocity at which the sample is completely suspended in the air we have note down the reading for the flex seat that is 7.99 meter per second as its terminal velocity when the buoyancy force acting on the sample as well as the gravitational force acting on the sample becomes in the equilibrium that velocity is known as terminal velocity all the sample we can see that has been suspended was suspended in the air and has been collected at the top slots of the column so we have roughly we can note down at 160 volt supply of the capacitor we have achieved 7.99 meter per second of the terminal velocity for the flex set sample the terminal velocity or the major importance of application of the terminal velocity is to design a sifter sifter is a unit operation machine which is used in the grain processing industry where the material is directly coming from the field comprises of lot of chaff dirt and dust particles just to separate them out we need to design a sifter so terminal velocity finds its application in the designing of a sifter equipment for the industry and in this way the experiment is completed thank you stay at home stay safe